Good evening, guys. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Adalberto. How are you today? Fine. Excellent. Glad to hear that. Thank you so much, everyone, for connecting to today's class. We really appreciate it that you're here on time. I see many of you. I see, well, only four. Luis, Jani, Joanna, and Pablo. Jani will be as a listener today only. Right? And Luis, are you going to be attending the class or just listening? Luis? Just listening, I guess. Okay, Joanna is going to be active. Adalberto, are you going to be active in the class? Give me a moment, please. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. What else I got? And, well, just them. Right, so Joanna, maybe we'll give them a couple of minutes to connect, right? I'm gonna send them a message here so they can uh, connect as soon as possible. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, Carlos Vladimir. Hello, Carol. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to today's class. We're just waiting for more people to connect to the class so we have a better experience today. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Carol. Hello. All right. Are we ready? Let's get started. There was a video that was not supposed to be played. Okay. So we're going to start right now with today's class. Like I said, thank you so much. Today, we are going to start by asking if you have questions about the use of can and could. Uh, in this case, I will direct my questions uh, first to Carol, right? Carol, uh, do you have questions about the class that we had yesterday? Uh, mm, no he tenido tiempo, pero hoy lo voy a hacer, pero ayer estuve escuchando todo. Okay, okay. Hey, Joanna, do you have questions? No, teacher, I don't have questions. No questions. Okay. Um, here, let's see. Vladimir, Adalberto, do you have questions, Tatiana? I don't have questions. You don't have questions. No questions. No questions. Oh, well then, right. Now. We are going to start working today, right? With a very easy activity, right? And in this case, I'm going to 
ask you to please go to page 23 on your book. Page 23, that will be this page right here. Just give me a moment. Can you see the, the, the book? Yes? Yes, yeah, miss. Okay. Okay, very well. So what we're going to do is to read this survey, right? This is a survey about customer's experience with a product, right? So with this customer experience with the product, we have four questions and like the levels of satisfaction. When we say very satisfied, this one right here, very means like, oh, wow, that's perfect. But when we say very dissatisfied, it's like, mm-mm. So you can see this, right? Or you can try to watch this like also some like this, right? Top and bottom. Right. So I want you to read this survey. That's the first activity that we are going to do. Right. We have four questions. Tatiana, can you read question one? Joanna, number two. Carol, number three. And Vladimir, number four. Right. Only the questions right here. Tatiana, number one. How satisfied are you wish this product? This product. Very. <laughs> this product. Very. Mm -hmm. okay. Very. Okay. Tatiana, only the question. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Continue, Anna. Raise your opinion about the product's quality. Okay, continue there, Carol. The value of this product is. Okay, and Vladimir, the last one. Will you continue using this product? Okay, very good. Can you continue using this product? Excellent, thank you so much, right? Now, we have this and we have four like possible questions, possible answers. Right, very satisfied, satisfied, dissatisfied, and very dissatisfied, right? Now, look at these answers, right? The customer already answered each of these questions, right? They say here, dissatisfied, poor, very low quality, and no, right? We have four answers. Based on those answers, I want you to go ahead and answer the questions that we have in number three, right? Now we have, how was the customer's experience? Is the product a good one or a bad one? Think about possible problems the customer had with the product, right? We're going to start answering those three questions based on this survey. Do you understand the activity? Yes? Let's start. We're gonna have five minutes to answer because they are kind of difficult, mostly number three. So let's start. Let me know, please, if you have questions. Okay, let me know whenever you're ready.
Do you finish? With the three questions. Hola, good evening. Good evening, Luis Javier. Me escuchan, sí, bien, ok. Gracias. Yes. We can hear you very well. Based on the survey, remember your answers are based on the survey. Hi, Bernardo, how are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent. Glad to hear that. We're answering, Bernardo, the questions, oops, sorry. These three questions based on the survey, right? My goodness. <laughs> sorry, my son is very happy. <laughs> That's good, actually. <laughs> Let me know whenever you're ready. Okay. Let's check the answers there that you have. Number one, Vladimir, how was the customer experience? Uh, the customer experience was poor or bad. The customer was the customer experience was poor, poor or bad. Okay, actually, yes, that's totally right. Thank you, Vladimir. Now, uh, you choose the next person, Vladimir. Who's next? Excuse me? Who is next? Choose another student. Okay, okay. Eh. No puede ser Yanni, no puede ser Javier. Eh. Don Pablo de Alberto. Pablo, okay, Pablo. Hi, Pablo. So, is the product a good product or a bad one? What do you think? Eh, the product is a. Uh... Quality is good. The product quality is good. The product quality is good. 
Okay, let's check on the survey, what it says here, right? How satisfied are you with this product? Dissatisfied, very low quality, poor, and no. Hmm. Based on this survey, do you think the product is good, Adalberto? Uh, okay, it's, uh, no, 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 no. Uh -huh. uh, it's a high quality. High quality? Wait. Right. Okay, look at the survey, please. Look at the answers. Look at the answers. Okay. Uh, mm, uh, very low, low uh, very low quality. Okay, so it's is it a good one or a bad one? A uh, bad one. It's a bad one. It's a bad one, right? Thank you, Alberto. And the last one. This one can be answered by many people because we don't have the same ideas, right? So let's see here. What did you write for number three, Joanna? The, the product will not um, uh, duradero. What is the mean? What is the pronunciation? Durable. Durable. Mean, so on what? Because it is uh, uh, very, very, uh, very low quality. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Joanna. Carol, what do you write in number three? Number, I think, I think the pro, the product no, no problem. But the product is bad, so there is a problem. Look at the survey, right? Look at this, right? Dissatisfied, very low, no poor. What is the what is maybe one possible problem with the with the product? Mm, the product, I think, the product, mm -hmm. um, the product, the quality quality is dudoso, como se dudoso, doubtful, doubtful. Okay, doubtful. Very good, right? Doubtful. I'm not sure about it. Okay, very good. What did you write, eh, Bernardo? Um, the product had a very low quality and poor value. And poor value, okay, poor value. Excellent, thank you, Bernardo. Thank you, everyone else. Now, don't forget to do this, right? Now, I want you to remember these three questions, okay? Remember three questions, okay? Now, based on, that, on, on those three questions, I want you to look at this survey. This is a real survey, okay? This is a real survey from a place that we, we have worked with previously, right? But I think they don't let me show the, the logo. So I'm gonna put the logo there, okay. Now, it says, please rate your satisfaction with the place where you can find hamburgers, right? Like the best hamburgers, right? I don't think they are the best, but uh -huh. look at this. It says highly satisfied, satisfied, mm, neither satisfied or dissatisfied, like meh. Right, dissatisfied or highly dissatisfied. Look at the, uh, the, 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 these are not questions, right? These are statements, these are sentences, right? So we have some sentences or some statements that we can put in a services. Number one, can you read number one, Luis Javier? Number two, Emerson. Number three, Pablo. Number four, Tatiana. Number five, Carol, and number six, uh, Joanna. Mm 
the occurrence of your order. Okay. Continue. Next one. The friendliness of the crew. Okay. The cleanliness of the restaurant. Very well. The temperature of your food. Very well. And the last one? No, next one, Carol. The temperature of your food. Okay, very good. And the last one, Joanna? The taste of your food. Very good. Now, this is your, Carol. Pay attention. The speed of service. The speed of service, very well. Those are like the items that we need to pay attention to, right? Very good. Now, listen to me, everyone. Accuracy. Accuracy is like perfection. Accuracy, right? Friendliness. Friendliness. Cleanliness. Temperature. Temperature. Speed, right? Speed, taste, right? Now, Joanna, can you help me with pronunciation? Accuracy. Accuracy. Friendliness. 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 Cleanliness. Cleanliness. Temperature. Temp temperature. temperature, speed, speed, taste, taste. Very good. Yo no lo vi repitiendo los demás. Solo Joana va a practicar. Los demás no practicaron. Ajá. Right? You need to practice. These are difficult words. So, base, look at this survey. Look at all the information. It says, Accuracy of your order, highly satisfied, friendliness, satisfied, cleanliness, neither, temperature, satisfied, speed, neither, taste, highly satisfied, right? Now, I want you to look at that and using those questions, using this survey, I want you to tell me how was the customer experience? Is the product a good product or a bad product? And think about possible problems the customer had, in this case, with the product or the restaurant. With the product or the restaurant. Right? So we have three questions to answer. I will put the questions in the chat. Okay. I'll put them there so you can have access to the questions at the same time. Number one, they are the same questions, but now based on another survey. Mm -hmm. Number three, or the restaurant or service. Okay, you have the three questions in the chat. But remember, they are about this survey, right? Let's start. While you do that, I will take attendance. Mientras ustedes hacen eso, yo paso asistencia, chicos. Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Resino Álvarez. Daisy. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Elena Guadalupe Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Fran Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Imelda Xiomara. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García.
Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Mi teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López. Carla Present, Hernández Sotelo. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Manuel. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Oscar. Sara Abigail López. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Beltrán. I am here, Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Y Paula de Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Okay. okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Now, did you finish? Did you answer the questions? No? Not yet? Let's see. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Let's do it. Let me know when you finish, please. Ready to share? Emerson, Pablo, Elena, Imelda, Wendy? Yes, miss. Okay. Wendy no dijo que no iba a venir. ¿Qué hace aquí? <laughs> Fue ayer. Ah, yeah, okay. Uh -huh.
Okay, so we're gonna share right now. And we're gonna do it immediately. Now, first question. The first question is for Emerson. How was the customer experience based on this, Emerson? Based on this survey, of course, from the restaurant. Okay. The customer was a good experience in the restaurant. Okay. The customer experience was good. Was good. Okay, the customer experience was good, right? Excellent, Emerson. Now, let's see here, I agree with you. I think the customer experience was good. He was satisfied, right? At least with the hamburgers. Is the product, the hamburger, right? The hamburger is a product. The hamburger, the, the fries, the milkshakes, right? Is the product a good one or a bad one? What do you think, Elena? Oh, it's a good one product. It is a good product, right? It is a good product. Very good, Elena. Excellent. Thank you so much. And what about the last one, right? We see that he's not highly satisfied. He's like mm, in the middle. So what are some possible problems that the customer had maybe with the product or the restaurant or service? Pablo, what do you think might be some problems? Mm -hmm. The client had a problem. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, the client uh, don't have a problem. Okay, the customer don't, doesn't have a problem. With the, with the hamburger, no. But what about no. with the other things, with the cleanliness? Was he highly satisfied with the cleanliness of the restaurant? Uh, uh, no, uh, no satisfied and the satisfied. Okay, very good. So what do you think was the reason why he was mm, neither satisfied or, or or satisfied or dissatisfied actually. Why? Um, and the service are um, more or less. Uh, okay. Uh, why? Why? Uh, For you, what? Why do you think is the reason? Oh. Um, uh, and because I and the client can see um uh -huh. mm, mm, no 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 have a problem. He doesn't have a problem. But no, uh, sorry. Okay, but my question is why? What is the meaning of the question why? We're asking for a reason, right? I can tell you, I am happy. Okay, why? I am not happy. Why? We need to give a reason to that. Right? We already know that he's not satisfied and not dissatisfied. He's and the middle. The free the, the service is uh, low. Okay. Maybe it, it is low service. Okay. Thank you, Adalberto. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Alexander. Hi, Alexander. Question number three. Um, I think that the clean cleanliness of the restaurant isn't very good. Um, he received the burger very late. Okay, he received a burger very late, probably, okay. Only that? 
Yes. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Vladimir, what about you, Vladimir? Question number three. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, the client, I, he had no problem with his visit in the restaurant because the qualification on the clean, clean cleanliness and the speed of service is no reason to bad experience. Okay, well, that's his point of view. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Vladimir, Mr. Rodriguez, right? So we have there some possible answers, right? About the service. Service are very important. When you work with people in the United States, right? Service are always there, okay? You're always going to, uh, to going to get a survey. That's not a, that's not a, how can we say, that's not something that we do in El Salvador much. We don't like service, but they do, right? And I think it's awesome. Service are really good to check the metrics, right? The service, everything else. Very well then. Now we're going to continue here with the book, right? But we're going to start with this topic. Right? We're going to go with May and might. Okay? May and might. That's the topic that we're going to work with. That's the grammar topic, which is pretty easy. Now, these are part of the models, right? Models may and might. Right? Now, both of them are used for possibilities, and I need you to pay attention to this, right? No escriban nada, pongan atención, right? Ya saben que les envío luego las pantallas. So, pay attention. May and might is, is used in this case for possibilities. They both have the same meaning, okay? However, may, right? It's a little bit different than might. So let me show you here and our function, right? We always put here a function, remember that. Function. It, oops, too big, too big, too big, too big. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, for the function, can you please read the function for us? Alexander. May and my. Alexander. The microphone. Sorry. Function. May and might are used to talk about the possibility of something happening. May is often more possible than might. Okay, so may is often more possible than might. Uh -huh. Read the examples, Bernardo. I'm not sure what to do. I may watch TV. You might not like that TV program. Okay, very good. Ah, I'm not sure what to do. I may watch TV. So in this case, we have we're going to do something like this. I want you to pay attention here with me, right? I'm gonna make like a small drawing right here, right? I'm not good at drawing, so I'm so sorry for that. So this is what we got, right? Now, what we're going to do here, we have May, right? It says May is often more possible than might, huh? Okay, interesting. Often more possible than might. So what are we gonna do here? We're going to make some drawing, right? You know that. There we are, right? And we got here number one and number 10, right? And then we're going to have may, more possible, right? More possible than 
my, right? So we say, mm, so my is not that possible, right? We got it here, right? May over here, more possible, right? We're gonna put it here, may, and this is going to be might, not so much, right? That's the difference. But if you see, the difference is like not much, right? What you're going to do is that you're going to use it for possibilities. Many people say, oh, might is more formal than may. Yes, but not always, right? Not always. Here, we're talking about possibility, right? That's what we're talking about. So here we're talking about possibility, right? That's our main structure, right? Possibility. So for this possibility, we say, oh, okay, right? Which one is more possible? May. Which one is not so much? Might. Right? Do you have a question about this right now, guys? Questions? Do you understand this? Miss, how, how see, how look uh, the, the level, the number one, number 10, it's, it's, how, how see, how watch? It's just a representation. It's just for you to see. It's just for you to see that one is more possible than the other, but there is not an actual number. So is it, this is a re re relative. Yeah, uh, exactly. A, a for, person. Example, for example, I, I'm going to tell you here, um, after the class, I, I may go to sleep at 11, right? And I might eat some pupusas because my husband brought pupusas, right? So which is more possible, may or my? May, I may go to sleep at 11 because I'm tired today, it's Friday, right? I might eat the pupusas or maybe not because it's going to be too late after the class, right? So it's not always going to be an exact number, right? It's about the scenario, the context in which we are giving uh, this information. So it's not going to be like 100% uh, 10 or A or seven. It's not a number, it's a possibility based on the situation. Thank you for your question, Javier. Very good. Now, what could be, we have examples right here, right? So we have two examples. I'm not sure what to do. I may watch TV. You might not like that TV program. So maybe I will like it, right? Maybe I will, or maybe I won't. Then we're gonna go here and we're gonna say, we're gonna use the structure. Now for the structure of this, uh, we know that that's important to us. Yes, Pablo? And uh, it's indifferent and they use uh, may and my for the use that we want to give. Yes, based on what you want to say. Exactly. Okay. Based on what you want to say. <laughs> Very good. Now, for example, here, I'm going to put some examples that we have, right? From a book, of course, right? It says here, I'm gonna start with me, right? It says here, I may ask for a refund, right? And the other one, Look at this other example, right? She might want a refund on those units, 
right? We have two examples here. Which one do you think that is more possible to happen? More likely to happen? Which one is more likely to happen? I may ask for a refund. She might want a refund on those units. Which one is more possible? Number one or number two? Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one is more possible, right? Because we have May, right? And might, um, she might want a refund on those units, but maybe not. Maybe she won't even call, right? And she won't ask for anything. So with the structure that we're going to use, and we have to be very careful about this, right? What we're going to be pretty careful is that we're gonna have the subject plus the model, right? In this case, what is the model? May or might, right? So we're gonna put it here, model plus the verb. Now, the verb is not going to have any changes. The verb is going to be a verb as we know it. Eat, read, watch, listen, um, think, call, et cetera, et cetera. You're not going to make any changes on the verb, right? So verb in base, in base form, right? Plus complement, right? This is my structure for both of them, for both of them. So I here I can put, they may not provide a good service, right? They, may not provide a good service. So we got it here, subject, they, model, may, in this case is negative, right? Provide a good service, right? If you want to make a negative, just put not next to the model, right? And this apply for anything you say, but Silvia, what happens with third person singular? She, he, it, same thing. She may not provide a good service. You see, there are no changes in the verb. We're gonna keep it like that. And with might, it's going to be the same thing. He might not be, he, he might not buy, uh, I don't know, pollo, fried chicken. How do you call the pollo? That is Don Pollo. I forgot. Se me olvida. Se me olvida. Okay. Look at this one. He might not buy here again. Right? So we have examples here, or we can say here a positive. Right? He might buy here again. He loved. He loved it, right? So we have examples here with our sentences. Now, do you understand the use of may and might right now? Of course, I will give you more examples, right? Do you understand these guys? Yes, miss. Okay, Emerson says yes, thank you so much. The other ones, I assume you do, right? Recuerdense, si no hacen preguntas, yo asumo que entendieron todo perfectamente, right? So let's go ahead and work right now because you understood perfectly what I'm saying. I'm gonna put here, right, some exercises. 
right here. The first one, I'm gonna put it with da, 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 five sentences. Okay, five sentences. Pretty easy sentences, okay? Don't worry, this is easy peasy, right? Now, we're going to complete the sentences below by using may not or may, might not or might to describe possibility, right? So we have the first example. Carol, can you read the first example? There are certain clouds. This uh, number one. Yes. Uh, there are some dark clouds in the sky. My, I might. May. May. Rain. Rain. Read again, please. It may rain. It may. It may. It may rain. Rain. Okay. Now repeat with me, Carol. May. May. Might. Might. Very good. So these are scenarios, right? These are scenarios. There are some dark clouds in the sky. Oh, it may rain. It's a high possibility, right? It's a high possibility. So here in the book, right, they are showing us like scenarios that we can use, right? to make our examples. So we're gonna put here seven scenarios, right? Seven of them right now. I need you to please, right now, take a screenshot or I will send it to you also to WhatsApp. But if you can take a screenshot. What is the screenshot tool? Wait a moment. Sending it to you right now. To your WhatsApp, right? And we are going to work this in pairs. You're going to write a possible scenario right now based on that using the models that we have here, okay? So do you understand what you're going to do? Yes? Okay, Elena says yes. So let's start here. We're going to work in pairs. I think we're gonna make groups of two. We're gonna work in pairs. Just give me one moment. Jose, Pablo y Wendy están trabajando, ¿verdad? Van a trabajar. Joana, Carla y Carol, igual. Joana, Carla, Carla. Emerson, José y Luis Javier Castillo, igual. Carlos, Vladimir, Tatiana y Yanira. Aquí tenemos un problemita porque Tatiana y Yanira están de oyentes. Entonces vamos a hacer un cambio. Okay. Daisy, Elizabeth y Elena van a trabajar. Elena sí está activa en la clase. Right. Imelda, Jacqueline y Manuel. Imelda, Jacqueline y Manuel van a trabajar. Yes, it's you. Yes, okay. So let's get to work right now. Right. We're going to work in pairs. Yo lo voy supervisando. Right, se supone que ya entendimos, no tuvimos preguntas, pero vamos a ver cómo nos va. Let's go. Let's go. Right now. Let's make our scenarios. Let's give our answers. Okay. Okay, Carla. Please join Carol, Jacqueline, Daisy, Carla, aunque estén de oyentes, únanse los equipos, por favor. Ya saben cómo trabajar, únanse los equipos. Please join the group. 
Jacqueline, Daisy, Carla, Imelda, únanse los equipos, por favor. Siempre pasa lo mismo con ustedes, chicas. A excepción de Carla, necesito que las de Jacqueline, Daisy y Imelda siempre se unan a los equipos. He right. eh, como dormirse y madre porque ya 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 son las nueve y media y se siente cansa ah pero en my... sí spelling spelling might spelling might might M I G H T. M I G H T. Mm -hmm. You have it otherwise. Tell it in a reverse. T H. And it should be H T. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, teach. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yes. Podría ser un. Might. He might. Verbo. Okay. Sleep. Uh -huh. Sleep. 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 I is my not my class star song, mm -hmm. but I am not sure where the classroom is. Mm -hmm. well. Creo que dice que las clases comenzarán pronto, pero que no sabe dónde está esa donde clase. Eh, is, Digo yo, no sé. Ajá, sí podía. Mm. Eh, she, o oh, no sé si es my, no. Eh, eh, my. Llegar a tiempo. ¿Cómo podemos poner? Star. Podría ser, ajá, she, my, she, llegar yeah. Arrive time. No sé, a come. A come. A come. Come. A time. No sé. Come on time. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver la otra. Ella ah. está comprando. Sara podría comprar. Um, um, Sorry. A teacher's o oh, um, uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Fanda, Fanda, ¿cómo by, dice uh, el by, uh, yeah. Yeah. Address. I think Kelly and Jenny are friends, but they live in different cities. They are both traveling to Washington this summer. Mm -hmm. Sería Kelly en Jenny. Okay, 
Ella y Jenny son amigas, pero ellas viven en diferentes, en diferentes ciudades. Ellas, eh, han, ellas están viajando a Washington, Washington. A Washington esta, este verano, ¿verdad? Sí. Kelly and Jenny. They may go for they may. Vamos a algún lugar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Go to. Eh. Go to. O ellas irán. They may go shopping together. Ah, también. Go to. Go to. May. shopping yo creo que no lo llevo siempre que es go sí no, no. go shopping sí. shopping uh -huh. together Okay. It's cold. It's cold outside. But James isn't wearing a jacket. Ah, está haciendo frío afuera, verdad? Está helado afuera. Pero James no viste una chaqueta. Mm -hmm. Y my uh, how the cafeteria how my my leave eh, salir ¿verdad? James podría salir. Mm. Podría ser que coma un helado, digamos, es menos probable. <ríe> James might eat. Oh, así es, eat. Oh. Okay. Might. James might. Y podría ser they más eh, pasar tiempo juntas <laughs> quiero ver what is the meaning of spend spend Travel sería travel. No porque ya está diciendo que van a, a viajar. Entonces sí, o sea, la cosa es que no, no, no se ven. Son amigas, se, son amigas, pero viven en diferentes ciudades. Pero sí. ellas van. Uh -huh. Entonces ellas pueden, no sé pasar tiempo juntas, tomarse un café, no sé. <risa> o no sé si se escribe así. Igual si no la corregimos. Si les parece, si no. Sí, está bien así. Ok. Spend time together. Uh -huh. Y... This is cold. Este Sad. fuera está frío. Eh. Eh, pero James, Warren, no sé qué se explica. Warren. Mm -hmm. Warren, será que refriado, refriado no. Vamos. Warren. Vamos a ir a ah, usar, usar. 
No está usando. Ah, una chaqueta. Entonces se puede enfermar. ¿Cómo, sí. ¿cómo se dice? Eh, ahí sería con G, ¿verdad? O el nombre. O James. Ajá, James. Mi. Eh... Enfermar. Veamos. Sí, no, ¿cómo es? Get sick o sick. Sí. O sea, solo sí. sí. Natural. Ajá. En su forma. Se puede, o oh, sí, pero podemos poner resfriar también. Porque lo más seguro es que se va a resfriar. Igual, ¿cómo se escribe resfriar? Enfermarse. Flu. <risa> flu. She might get the flu. Or she might get sick. Mm -hmm. Get the flu. Es un resfriado. Oh, sorry, flu. Get sick, enfermarse. Get sick significa enfermarse. ¿Cómo lo dejamos, niño? Get, get. Ah, sí, get sick. Get, get sick. Y del mi brother is at a restaurant. He he may sorry. He he may he may um, eat, eat eat in is correct in this place in this place no it's correct In o in the restaurant también puede ser. At this, uh -huh, in this place, that's correct. O oh, in this restaurant. You finished? Yes, miss. Okay, very well. Thank you so much. I think uh, we'll go to another group then. Okay. See you in a moment. Do you finish? Yes. Yes, teacher. Me excite, me catch cold, me eat, they meet each other. Okay, very good. Very good. I think we're going to leave now then. All right, let's go. Hello guys. Hi Miss. Okay, we're gonna wait for the others so we can start sharing our answers. Now this is going to be a little bit uh, uh, easy, right? You are going to share right now the possible answers that you have. Right, so we're going to do double sharing right now on the screen. So I'm going to share here. Okay. I am going to share the, 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 the situations. 
right? And you are going to share at the same time. Tell me, can you share your screen right now, Joanna? Let's start with your group. Okay. Okay. Uh, list. This is my, this is. That's your presentation. Okay, let me, you're sharing right now, right? Ya está compartiendo. Sí, yes. ¿Por qué no la veo? Okay, déjeme dejar de compartir. Okay, there we are. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's start, please, right now, and let's go ahead and share, right? Who's, who, how many people are in your group, Joanna? Carol and who? Manuel. Okay. So maybe you can read two each, right? You start, then Carol and then Manuel. Let's do that. It's night, turtle, and jacks feel tired. Manuel? No, you continue, the same. Oh. <laughs> he might sleep. Okay. My class starts soon, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure where this classroom is. I may not come of time. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carol. Continue there, please. Sarah has some money and she is at a clothing store. She might buy clothing. Kelly and Jenny are friends, but they live in different cities. They are both traveling to Washington this summer. They might spend time together. Excellent. Mm -hmm. It is cold outside, but James is wearing a jacket. James might get sick. Excellent. My brother is a restaurant and he feels a little hungry. He might eat in this place or he might eat in this restaurant. Okay, may. May, okay. May, may eat. Very good, thank you this group, excellent job. Right, send that picture to WhatsApp, please. So everyone can have it. Now let's okay. see another group really quick. Another group, another group. Alexander. Uh -huh. Daisy Elizabeth. Okay, Daisy, no, Daisy no estaba. Thank you. Um, Jacqueline Vanessa. Tampoco. Imelda Xiomar. Pior. Uh, Elena Guadalupe. Elena, vamos, Elena. Ok. Mm -hmm. um, it's night Ethereum. Jack feels tired. Jack might feel sleepy. My class starts soon, but I am not sure where the classroom is. I met no, I met not know the school. Mm -hmm. Sarah has some money and she's at a clothing store. Sarah might buy clothes. Clothes. Kelly and Jenny are friends, but they live live in different cities. They are both traveling to the Washington this summer. They may see in Washington this summer. Okay. It's cold outside, but James is not wearing a jacket. James might sick by cold. Okay, but I get sick. Uh-huh. My brother is at a restaurant and he feels a little hungry. 
my brother may get it a restaurant. Okay, thank you so much, Elena. Uh, let's see, Emerson, you're next. Okay, miss. Um, you can screen, you can share the screen, please. Can I, let me see. It's just multiple participants, yeah? Yes. Oh, you want me to share the examples? This? Yes. Okay, there you are. See. Sí. You can read only the answers if you want to. Only okay. the answers. Mm -hmm. The answer for the number two is he meets to go to sleep song. Number three, it may not arrive on time. Number four, she meets by a lot of things. Number five, they may meet in this summer. Number six, it's me catch a flu. Number seven, he he meet, he made it something like. He may eat something like. He feels a little hungry, okay. Very good, Emerson, thank you so much. Now, Bernardo's group. Okay, teacher. Mm, can you see it? Mm, let me stop sharing. Now, yes. He might go to bed or go to sleep. Uh, I may not be on time. She might buy some clothes. They may meet each other. He might catch a cold. Uh, he may eat a salad. He may eat a salad. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Bernardo. And let's continue with Alexander. Were you in one of those groups? Okay. okay. Pablo and Wendy. Okay. Okay, the number two is Jack my watch TV before go to sleep. Can I fall to go? Going to sleep, uh huh. Going to sleep. And number three, I may not come to my class on time. Okay. Sarah may buy a dress. They might go to shopping together. Mm -hmm. James. Might eat some ice cream. Mm -hmm. My brother may eat a sandwich. Okay, now number five, go shopping. May go shopping. Right? And Wendy, put your microphone off. Now the <laughs> number seven, my bro. Uh, number six, James might eat some ice cream. But look at the situation. It says that it was cold outside and he didn't have a jacket. So that doesn't make, it doesn't make sense that James might eat some ice cream unless he's Russian, right? Mm -hmm. So it could be something that he might get cold. He might want to look for a, a sweater or something like that, but not eat some ice cream. Right, because that's not a possibility. I don't see that likely to happen, right? Okay. Now, is there any other group before we continue? No groups. Let's continue then. We're gonna work with the exercises that we have from our book. Right here, we have six sentences, right? And it's telling us to create our own sentences using my or might, and we write a compliment when needed. So number one says he 
not be satisfied. What do you think is going to be my answer here, Paula Alberto? Uh -huh. He may not be satisfied. He may not be satisfied with what? With, with uh, the service. With the service. Excellent, Adalberto. This is a complete sentence, right? This is some compliment that we are adding. We are creating a compliment. Thank you, Adalberto. So the same way you're going to uh, do with the other five sentences, right? You have the warranty, be longer, the service not be excellent. You recommend the weather be in a hurry, Amanda not use, right? Now, those are the, like the ideas. You are going to create a complete sentence, right? Let's start. Now, this exercise is individual work. Let's do it, you can do it. And tell me if you have questions, please. Did you finish? Not yet? Tell me, please, if you have questions about vocabulary or something that's not clear, please ask questions. Si algo no ha quedado claro, por favor, pregunten. Ask questions.
Are you ready to share? Not yet? No? Okay. Not yet. Okay, okay. Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect. Who else finish? Finish. Finish uh, too? Sir. 
Finish. Finish. Okay. Finish. Perfect. Now, let's see number two. Who wants to do number two? Carlo Vladimir? Number two, what do you have? Number two, uh, the warranty might be longer if you pay an additional $100. Oof. Okay, might be longer, longer if, if you pay an additional, additional $100. Of $100. Wow, very good example. Excellent, Vladimir. Who else wants to do number three? Number three. Uh, me, teacher. Okay. The service may not be excellent, but the food is from Mother World. Okay. But the food? Is from Other World. Is from another world. So it means like it's excellent, right? Yes. Very well. Thank you, Bernardo. What about number four, guys? Who wants to do number four? Another person? Hi, hello. Here. Okay. Number four, you may recommend recommend this product is it is very cheap. This product, it is this product, right? It, it is, is very cheap. We're gonna do like this. It is very cheap. Two ideas, right? Very good job, Javier. Right, remember to separate the ideas with a period and then we're five. Find a number five. Who has number five? Me. Yes. The wire may. Uh, the wire may be, be in a hurry because. This resta restaurant closes soon. Because the restaurant closes soon. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Thank you so much, Manuel. A number six. Me. Yes. Amanda may not use this phone. It's only. Amanda may not use this phone. It's only. If only, if only what? Oh, oh, oh no, uh, fail. Only, oh, only. Only. Amanda may not use this phone only. Okay, very good. That makes sense, right? Excellent job, guys. I really like these examples. They are well written, excellent use of grammar. Very good. You deserve an applause, excellent. Now, does anybody have another example that you want to share? Think about that, just give me one moment, one moment, one moment. Now we'll give you another example, okay? No. Yes, yes, Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience. Now, do you have any other examples that you want to share? No examples? The four teacher. Okay. You may recommend, uh, recommend me if for work. You may recommend me for? Work. Work, okay. For work, okay, very good. Excellent, Alberto. We have good examples right here. Now, these are examples when we're talking about possibility. It seems like you understood very well what the uh, what the examples mean, right? So we're going to move forward, right? We're going to make other activity here, right? And let's work with the last conversation today. Carol, can you help me out with number six? Create a conversation. Uh, your 
um, create a conversation where you are deciding with a product and say what you may might do about it. Very good. So right now we're going to make a conversation. Well, you are going to make a conversation when one of you is the customer, right? And one of you is selling the other two, or maybe if we work in triads, right? Two of you are dissatisfied. You say, uh uh, this cell phone is very bad. I am dissatisfied about this cell phone. I think I may buy another cell phone, right? Or maybe I might go to, to Claro tomorrow and try to change it. So I'm telling more information, right? about a product and that's what we're going to do, right? But you're going to do it in a, in a form of a conversation. So one of you has to be like uh, the employee and the other one is going to be the customer who is not happy, right? You are not happy about the product. Now, we're going to have 10 minutes because it's going to be a short conversation. So we can share it uh, after that. Let's start right now. We're going to do the same. I know that some of you are not going to work. So let me see. Imelda, are you participating in the, in the activities? Daisy, va a participar? Bueno, al parecer no. Vamos a ver acá, just give me a moment. Give me a second. Teacher, yes. Uh, re repeat, please, the instruction. Say quickly. You're Ms. going to make a conversation where you or your classmate is not going to be happy about a product, right? So you're going to tell, for example, if you are the customer and you are not happy, Right, you're going to tell the employee what you may or may not do about that product. Right, you're going to use models. Yes, okay. Excellent, thank you, Javier. Now, let me go ahead and continue here. Just Jose Javier. There you go. Okay, give me a moment. One moment, one moment, one moment. I think we're fine, right? Let's go. Quick conversation. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Carol, please connect to your group. Como, how is your internet service? Que seria? Vamos a hacer una conversación, entonces sería, hola Elena, how are you? 
Houston, um, Brandy. ¿Qué hay que ¿Cómo? Voy a ser un vendedor. Voy a ser seller. I am the customer. Yes. Uh, hello, good afternoon, Mr. I am Jose. What can I do for you? Hello. Hello, Jose. Thanks. I'm I want how do you say reclamar teacher? It depends. What do you want to say? Reclamar a la garantía. Ask for the warranty. Ask, ask for the warranty or claim the warranty. Both are fine. Ask for or claim. No, it's different. No. Okay, thanks. So I want ask for the warranty. by handset headset that damage it's a damage I said yeah hello Jose thanks I want hacks for the warranty by headset Did you finish with the activity, Manuel and Carlos? No. Ahorita estamos como creando los escenarios. Después vamos a poner los dos para unirlos y, y digitarlas. Ok. Yes. Experience. With the company Tigo, I might mm. change company con company con yes. Sí. Because es de cause. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Sí, ese está mal escrito. Because I had improper char char charges. Charges. Igual ahí, I have, sería. Yo aquí en el cuaderno lo arreglado. Have a bad experience. With, with the company, a company. I might, I, I might, I might change, change company, 
company because I have improper. I have. I, I, ¿cómo sería? I have. I have. Is off line jet. <laughs> okay, Mr. Alex. Wait me a moment while. Wait a moment. Uh -huh. Wait now, a moment. You have not used may or might in your conversation. Ah, se nos olvidó eso. And the question, the first question. How may, how, how may, how may I have this record? Yeah. But. We, a moment. While pongamos aquí tres horas después para estar en hecho para poner en contexto real. Después de las tres horas. Después de las tres horas. Hay que ponerle ahí mientras. While, mientras. Sí, siempre. Ajá. Después del paréntesis. Oh. Ajá. While. I restore. No, sería que a ver. Refresh. While I refresh. Your subs. Your. Your service. Service. Podríamos meter allí el may o el meet. While I. No va. While I meet. Sí. ¿Cómo se oiría? No. no. You go like while I refresh your service, you might want to do this, or you might want to tell me if you have other questions, but don't put a period because this is a complete sentence. While I refresh your service, comma, you might want to do this and this. You may to want. You may. Uh, 
you may want to tell me no. if you have any other problems or I don't know, something else related to that issue or possible issues that may come with it. Other questions, uh-huh, very good. Yes, the net, yes. Mm -hmm. Ya no quiero, gracias. <laughs> Mejor me pasa a ti. Así es. Y lo mismo. Bueno. <laughs> Está peor. <laughs> sí, es claro, es el menos peor. I will change. Se puede decir, I will change to ego. Siguiendo la instrucción, subject, may, verbo en su forma va a seguir. Teacher Billy es factura, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Please. Mm -hmm. Sí, please. Uh -huh. It may give back my money, please. Give me, give me, or give me my money back. Give me my money back. Give me. Everything. Money. It may give, no, give me my money back, please. Mm -hmm. Give me my money back, please. Hi, Vladimir. Hi, Imelda, Daisy. We're going to wait for the others to come back. Okay, so we have uh, some conversations. Almost everybody finished already the conversations, right? We only have three minutes left. So we're going to do the conversations as the second activity next Monday, okay? So please be here on time. It's Monday, so be here on time. So we can complete the, that activity. That will be the second activity. Uh, also, I want you to please go ahead and finish your activities for week number two, right? For week number two, in the platform, right? I will give you the advancement that you have for the second week, right? You should have finished at this point week number one and you should be in week number two, right? Just give me a second. For week number one, no, week number two, sorry. Carlos Vladimir, 80, Eduardo, 60, Daisy, zero y zero en las dos primeras, dos primeras semanas. Daisy necesito que se ponga a trabajar, por favor, en esas actividades. Elena, ya la primera semana la terminó, tiene 40 en la segunda. Emerson, 100 y 100. Eh, Francisco tiene que trabajar. 
Imelda 180, muy bien. Jacqueline Vanessa tiene que trabajar en las actividades. Johanna Lisbeth tiene 100 y 100. José Alexander 100 y 0, no ha trabajado nada esta semana en las actividades de la plataforma. Igual José López Montes. Carla Eugenia tiene 80 y 100, muy bien. Carol tiene 100, pero no ha trabajado esta semana. Luis, eh, Luis Javier tiene 100 en la primera actividad, 0 en esta semana, no ha trabajado en esa actividad. Igual Manuel Alfredo necesita trabajar en las dos, tiene 0 y 0. Oscar Magaña tiene 100 y 40, va comenzando con la segunda semana. Pablo igual tiene 100 y 60, vamos avanzando. Y me quedan Sara Vigail tiene 100, 0 en esta semana. Tatiana 100 y 40, vamos avanzando. Wendy 100 y 40 y Yanira tiene 100, 0. ¿Okay? Por favor, vayan avanzando en las actividades. Es importante porque en la semana 2, ¿qué tenemos? El midterm. Y ese tiene que quedar hecho ya el lunes en la noche si es posible. Right? Porque si no se van a quedar con esa nota mala ahí. So guys, it's been a pleasure. Antes que se vayan rapidito, asistencia. Carlos Vladimir. Present. Daisy Elizabeth. Eduardo Franco. Elena Guadalupe. Emerson Ulises. Present, Miss. Present. Sánchez. Imelda Xiomara. Jacqueline Parrilla, Johanna Lisbeth, Oscar Present, Alexander, José Bernardo, Present, Carla Eugenia, Present, Carol Elizabeth, Present, Luis Javier, Present, Manuel Alfredo, Present, Manuel, Sara Vigail, Tatiana Ivón, Present, Miss, Mindy Marlene, Present, Yanira del Carmen, Pablo Dalton. Okay, very well. Today is day number eight, so Jacqueline should be here with me. Jacqueline se debería quedar, pero veo que no está conectada. Entonces, si alguien se quiere quedar en vez de Jacqueline, lo puede hacer. Okay? Then the other ones have a beautiful night. See you Monday. Bye bye. Enjoy your weekend. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Enjoy your weekend, people.